The DevExpress Rich Text Editor Control for ASP.NET introduces a built-in, easy-to-use mail merge engine. Simply bind the control to an external data source, and your end users will be able to preview and generate mail merge results while working with an open template document. So let's see how to do it. I'll start with a website application that has a rich edit control added to it. Based on the control's work directory property setting, I've created a working directory in a standard app data folder for my project. And for the purposes of this demo, I've added two sample files to this working directory. The docx file is a template document that has the mail merge fields created and formatted. We'll load this file into the rich edit control at runtime. We're going to bind the rich edit control to the XML file, which is the source of employee data. My page also contains a standard XML data source component configured to use this employees.xml file as its source. To provide the rich edit with a data source, I select the rich edit control, and in the properties window, I set the data source ID property. This binds the rich edit control to the employee's data source. And I'm done. All other mail merge operations can be easily performed by end users at runtime. It might be worth noting the availability of the view merge data property. It specifies how the template document content will be initially displayed for end users, as plain text with placeholders or as already merged data. By default, viewing merged data is off. Now let's run the application to see the results. To open a template document, I click File and Open and select the mail merge template docx file. By default, you only see the plain text included in the file. This depends upon the mentioned view merge data property setting. Based on it, in the mail merge ribbon tab, the view merge data item is initially in the unselected state. In the mail merge tab, I click the show all field codes item to display the merge field labels in the document. You see that each mail merge field is represented by the merge field code defined for the corresponding data field. Clicking on the update all fields and show all field results items just changes the display of merged fields to placeholder tags. This makes editing the template document easier. For the purposes of this demo, let's put the cursor between the title of courtesy and last name fields and insert blank spaces here. And by clicking the insert merge field item, I can insert any field from the available data source fields with ease. I select the first name field and insert it in the document at the current cursor position. Now I need to have the document retrieve the data from the employee's data source and populate these fields accordingly. I select the view merge data command in the mail merge tab and here it is. The tags are replaced with the data of one record from the data source. From the current record group in the ribbon, I can advance to the next few records or simply go back. Unchecking the view merge data item in the view ribbon group unlinks the document from the data source leaving us with the original merge fields. To create the resulting merged document, I click the mail merge ribbon item. In the invoked dialog, I can choose specific data source records to be included into the resulting document and specify how to separate record data within the document. I leave selected all records and new paragraph and click OK. The next dialog helps me save the resulting document. I can download a copy in a desired format or save a file to a specific server folder providing the file name and format. I prefer saving to the rich edits working folder and click save. Let's open the saved merge document and see the result. You can see that it contains invitations created for all data source records based on the initial template. Invitations are filled with actual data and separated as paragraphs in the resulting document. Note that for the sake of simplicity, we use an XML file as the data source for this demo. All this can be done using data retrieved from a SQL Server database, an access database, a web service, and more. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.